Hi, this is the A Black Woman Reader, and I will be reading verses from the 25th chapter of Mosiah. Everyone is back in the land of Zarahemla. Mosiah is the king, and so now we are going to pick up the story there. And the king Mosiah calls all the people should be gathered together. Now there were not so many of the children of Nephi, or so many of those who were descendant of Nephi, as there were those of the people of Zarahemla, who was a descendant of Molech, and those who came with him into the wilderness. And there were not so many of the people of Nephi, of, of the people of Nephi, and of the people of Zarahemla, as there were of the Lamanites. Yea, they were not half so numerous. And now all the people of Nephi were assembled together, and also all the peoples of Zarahemla, and they were gathered together into two bodies. So we have the Nephites, and we have the Zarahemla, and now we got the Almos peoples is also there. So we got this big gathering. And it came to pass that Mosiah did read and cause to be read the records of Zenith. So we know about Zenith. And the people of Zenith from the time that they left the land of Zarahemla. And he also read the account of Alma and his brothers and all their affliction from the time that they left the, the land of Zarahemla. So uh, Alma is there and Alma brings his records. And so King Mosiah is doing all of this reading. Okay. And when Mosiah had made an end of the reading of the records, his peoples uh, who tarried in the land were struck with the wonder and amazement, for they do not know what to think. So now we <laughs> know what to think because we know the backstory. All right. And again, when they thought of their brethren who had been slain by the Lamanites, they were filled with sorrow, even shed uh, tears of sorrow. And it came to pass that they thought of the goodness of God and his power in delivering Alma and his brothers out of the hands of the Lamanites and out of bondage. And they did raise their voices and give thanks to God. Okay. And it came to pass that those who were the children of Amulon, uh, the children of Amulon, so they also must have came with Alma and uh, his brethren who had been taken taken wives and the daughters of the Lamanites uh, were despised with the conduct of their fathers that they would no longer be called by the names of the children of the fathers. Therefore, they took upon themselves the name of Nephite and that they might be called the children of Nephite and numbered among those of called the Nephites. So these, uh, these people were... Uh, were the uh, descendants of the children of the daughters of the Lamanites and the uh, Amalon who were the priests. So now we have a, a mixed people. So we have a, a people who these children, they are part Lamanites and they are part Nephites. And so they are taking on the uh, names of of uh, they have taken on the name of the Nephites, or uh, 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 now they are people of Zarahemla. So we have uh, uh, sort of a, a mulatto, if you you know understand what I'm saying. So we got this mixture here. And now all the people of Zarahemla was numbered with the Nephites, and be, and this became and this because the kingdom had been conferred upon none but those who were descendants of Nephi. And now it came to pass that when Mosiah had made an end of speaking and reading to the people, he desired that Alma should also speak to the people. And Alma did speak unto them when they were assembled together in a large body, and he went forth from one body to another, preaching unto the people repentance and faith on the Lord. He did exalt the people of Lemmi and his brethren and all those that had 
had been delivered out of bondage that they should remember that it was the Lord who delivered them and it came to pass that after Alma had taught the people many things uh, he made an end of speaking to them that the king of Lemhi was desirous that he might be baptized and all his people were <clears throat> desirous that they might be baptized and therefore Emma did go forth into the water and did baptize them yea he did baptize them after the manner he baptized his brethren in the water of Mormon as he baptized did below and okay as he baptized people they became members of the uh, church and it came to pass that the king Mosiah granted unto Emma that he might establish churches throughout the land of Zarahemla and gave him the power to ordain priests and, ev and teachers over every church. Now this was done because there were so many people that they could not all be governed by one teacher and neither could they all hear the word of God in one assembly. Therefore, they did assemble themselves together in different bodies being called churches. Every church having their priests and their teachers and every priest preaching the word according as it was delivered to him by the mouth of Alma. And thus, notwithstanding there being many churches, they were all one church, yet even the, the church of God. For there was nothing preached in all the churches except it was repentance and faith in God. And now there were seven churches in the land of Zarahemla. Seven churches in the land of Zarahemla. And it came to pass that whosoever were desirous to take upon them the name of Christ or, or of God, they did join the churches of God. And they were called the people of God. Now, uh, King Benjamin had called them the what was that the uh, peoples of uh, of Christ uh, the, yeah and King Benjamin they had taken on the name of Christ and and they were called the people of God now they're called the people of God and the Lord did pour out his spirit up on them and they were blessed and prospered in the land this land of Zarahemla which at this point it sounds like paradise doesn't it until next time this is the black woman reader